A note on the Leaning Tower by the wondrous Catherine Ann Porter, winner of the Pulitzer Prize for her collection of short stories, which, alas, I have ended today. Alas, because I enjoyed it so much, and I wish there would be more. But then, in some years' time, I will uh, come back to it, inshallah, and be able to enjoy it all over again. The Leaning Tower is uh, an exceptional narrative, it's to be expected, there's no other way, uh, considering the author, who was, by the way, uh, praised by the likes of uh, uh, Eudora Welty, who said that these stories are uh, written with such a power that uh, they are printed in our memory. And Warren Penn said that there is there are so many of her stories that have no have not been surpassed in modern literatures. Something like this. I don't have the exact quote. You can find it if you search for it. But anyway, it was uh, more than laudatory. Uh, returning, it's a long story. It's unusual with that. It's three times as long as I would say her average. Uh, Tale in in this collection, and uh, it takes place in Berlin. I was used with having the action in the south of the states of the United States, or in 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 Mexico, as in the case of the first gem, Maria Concepcion. Um, and it's Charles Upton who is the hero. He is uh, he's he's coming from from a farming family in Texas. He is in in Berlin because uh, a friend of his that a friend of his childhood friend of his who is now dead uh, suggested uh, that he he travels to berlin wonderful city however he expected what high expectations mean to us it's it's not good because we're then disappointed uh, a, a town with castles and it's not furthermore cherry on top this is 1931 uh, Germany has been through a, 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 a terrible depression. There is one scene in which his landlady is showing him a suitcase with banknotes. And she says, look, this is hundreds of thousands of, of marks. And here we have million marks, notes. And they're all worthless. Uh, the inflation was staggering indeed. And they would, you had to go and, uh, with, with piles of money to buy anything. And... and from day to evening, the money would just lose value. And she says, you, you can take the suitcase and try and buy a loaf of bread. And you, you can't. You go and see. Uh, strangely, and wrongly, of course, um, those people there have a tendency to blame him. American him. Because, well, they didn't find with, with, uh, you didn't find with us in the war. Indeed, in the First World War, that's what they're talking about. They, they fought against Germany. And they elaborate on so many issues. The, the case of, of, of an incident in the first, I, I didn't know about, in the first part of the war when someone, a, a, a German general in the high in the hierarchy of the army, uh, took three days to, to complete an order. And they say, these characters in the, in the story, that this cost them the war. I don't know if it's true. Uh, they talk about other people, how Germans are, how Americans are. Ah, we know the Americans come here, they throw money at dancers, and then they light their cigars with a uh, hundred dollar bill. It's, it's, no, I'm not rich, and ah, we know we are, you are. It's 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 so wrong to say Americans are like this, like that. Think of the selection when half hates the, the guy the other half fucked it for, and installed in the White House. Uh, at one moment, in fact, when he's shown his room, uh, Charles Sutton sees a, a souvenir of small thing, a replica of the Leaning Tower, hence the name of the of, the, of this uh, story, short story, and um, touches it, and it just crumbles, and the woman is is terrified and starts saying the story of the of the Leaning Tower, I mean a replica of the of the tower in Pisa and she says we went to Italy my my husband was alive and we were doing so well and now it's so terrible and we see the significance of this incident of that cheap souvenir 
but which had such a weight behind it, and of the narrative in a way. We, we meet some very interesting people. Hans is one, a guy who went to a duel and has a, a, a serious cut, a, a, a terrible wound which will leave a scar on his face. There's Tadeusz, a, a, a man from Poland, but with a complicated ancestry from the Tartars and an Austrian background. And Otto. Uh, and there's so many differences and it's such a complex story. There's no way, in fact, I can... I think I should come back with a note tomorrow. Um, because there's no way I can finish it. Uh, uh, they all have something behind them. And indeed, this is what I will do, because this is too too, too great, too, too wonderful, mesmerizing. And again, I have to express my gratitude for having been through this uh, collection of stories and the regret that I'm finishing it. But there's a goal for me to be written down. I need to come back to this again.